and welcome back to Granted Gardens. My name is Melissa and today I want to show you how easy it is for you to grow a beautiful house plant from the top of a store-bought pineapple. This is something that's so easy to do um, and many of us just throw the tops of our pineapples away. I think that there's a lot of people that didn't even realize that you can actually grow a plant out of the top of a pineapple. So I have some examples over here of what it looks like once the plant has established itself. I really like the look of this plant. They can get very large. <laughs> they can get very large and I like the spikiness. I think it's a really pretty plant. Now, is it possible for you to actually grow a pineapple from these? Absolutely, it's totally possible. Um, there are a lot of factors that go into growing a physical pineapple. You really have to have the perfect atmosphere in order for these plants to fruit. Um, I've had these plants now for years. Um, I've grown a lot of them, I've sold some, um, and I've given some away. And I've never actually had a pineapple grow from one of my pineapple plants before. But I tend to keep them as house plants, so they're in smaller containers. Um, and then obviously living in Maryland, our weather fluctuates ideal um, temperatures and, and conditions for these kind of plants would be tropical, which we do not have the pleasure of experiencing. Um, so those can all contribute to ways or reasons why you may not actually get fruit from your plant. Um, but typically it would take two to three years for you to see a pineapple plant per my research. Um, but like I said, in the meantime, I love the plant themselves. I think they're really pretty. They're super easy to care for. They don't take much sunlight. They don't take much water. Um, and they just have a very unique look to them. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly what I do to go from this <laughs> to this. <laughs> Some things that you're going to need for this are a pineapple, obviously. Um, when I do buy pineapples that I know I want to turn into plants, I do pay a lot of attention to the tops of the pineapples. Um, sometimes uh, they can look a little raggedy or shaggy or maybe not be in the best condition, so I try to pick uh, pineapples that have pretty tops to them to start out with. You also want to make sure that you um, cut off your top before your pineapple gets too ripe. Um, usually you can tell if a pineapple is ripe by pulling on the leaves up here and if the leaves pull out they say that means that the pineapple is ripe and ready to cut. Um, but you obviously don't want to get to the point where this top is dying off. I usually have cut my pineapples and they've tasted just fine at the point that I, that I cut them um, so I usually eat them right away. Um, but just be aware of that, be mindful of that. You're going to need a knife, a large knife it works best for me because you're going to have to cut through this. And then some kind of a smart, small jar um, or glass with water and a cutting board. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, remove this little tag that comes on my pineapple. We don't want that. And then next we're going to just turn the pineapple on its side like this and we're gonna slice off the top. You wanna to stay fairly close to the top because you don't wanna to waste too much of your pineapple. Um, but just the same way, the same place that you would if you were just cutting into the pineapple to eat it. So we're gonna just cut off the top here. All right, so there we go. We've cut the pineapple. And we're gonna set our pineapple aside. And then next what I do is I'm gonna cut away this base of the pineapple. And I kind of cut on an angle when I do this. So if you can see that, um, I'm trying to leave a, a, bit of, a bit of meat here at the bottom. So I kind of cut on an angle so that we still have that meat at the bottom, a point at the bottom. So I'm gonna keep doing that all the way around. until all that excess meat is gone. Just getting off some of the bits here. So then you're gonna have something that looks like this, okay? 
Now, next what you want to do is you want to peel away about an inch worth of leaves at the bottom here. These leaves will tend to die first, and if they're submerged in water, they'll get mushy, and you'll end up with um, like different kinds of molds and st mold growing on there and stuff. So we just, I just go ahead and I just rip them off. You can cut them away as well if ripping them off is too hard. It doesn't have to be perfect um, because, like I said, these leaves will continue to die off when you have it in the water. You can also just rip them away as they die off. Um, but I like to give this plant a bit of a start by not having a bunch of dead leaves floating around in the water. Okay, so I've ripped off my bottom leaves here. You can see that I've got a pretty decent gap um, between where the leaves start and the base of the plant. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and trim off some of this stuff that I couldn't pull off. Again, making sure that you keep a base of meat here at the bottom. So there you go, you can see that I cut off the majority of those little tiny leaves, but I still have a base of meat here at the bottom of my plant. So now what we're gonna do is you're gonna get your glass of water and you're gonna put your pineapple plant in it. Now you really, I have too much water here. You really just want your plant to kind of sit. You don't want it to be totally submerged. So there you go, that is the perfect amount of water. Um, you wanna make sure that the base of your plant is sitting in water, but you wanna make sure that your plant itself is not submerged. Um, you can start off with very little water here, okay? The idea is just to keep this plant hydrated. Um, once roots start to grow, you can add more water. I would change this water about every three days. Now, one thing about pineapples, as I mentioned, is they usually grow in the tropics. So when I change my water, I tend to fill this up with warm water. So just a hair above like room temperature. Um, not hot, but warm. And then that way it kind of gives it a little boost. Um, I've noticed that with some of my other plants that I grow from kitchen scraps that um, refilling it with warm water helps. So about every three days, I'll dump this out if there's anything left. Um, and I'll refill to the same amount with a warm water. Um, and then you just make sure that you keep this water clean. If it starts to get gunky, um, make sure you dump it, wipe out the glass that it's in. You can even rinse the base of your pineapple plant under some water if it starts to get really like um, slippery and slimy because you want to keep that slime off because that slime is what's going to cause mold. Um, so yeah, that's it. And then it'll eventually start to root. Once your pineapple has roots on it at least two inches, um, you can go ahead and put it into a pot and they do great. I have some in areas that get a lot of sunlight. I have some in areas that don't get much sunlight. I water them um, about once a week and they do stellar. So um, that's it. It's very simple and very easy to do. If you guys do participate in this, please make sure you share pictures with me. I would love to see your pineapple plants. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to sharing more with you soon.